an introduction with all these uh, arms that we were talking about. Oh. <laughs> so, my name's Tyler, this is Dominique, and this is uh, David. And uh, wow. we're starting a nonprofit called Limitless Solutions. And uh, I don't know if you saw the news story a couple weeks ago, probably about two months ago, where we created this 3D printed arm for a little boy named Alex in the, what is it, Groveland area? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, it's completely electronic based off, but we all printed it off of a Stratasys Dimension printer. Uh, he knows all about that. But, uh, yeah, so I work in the manufacturing lab at UCF, and uh, we did uh, a lot of the 3D printing. A lot of the early prototyping, we would also use subtractive manufacturing processes to, to kind of uh, fix some of the mistakes or some of the things that didn't come out just right. Um, but uh, uh, we agree with uh, some of the things you guys said earlier about form meeting function. And while we were very pleased with the flexi hand designed by uh, uh, Steve Wood from uh, Gyrobot UK. Um, we were not so like comfortable with uh, some like the forearm and the other cadding that we did. Um, we weren't so pleased. It kind of looks like Hellboy's arm, right? <laughs> it's not really so aesthetically uh, perfect. So we started working on new designs. Uh, so this is like the version two that we came out with. It's sort of like a proof of concept. Uh, so this one, the lid on here has sort of a, you just kind of pick it up and it kind of rubber bands on. Yeah, but uh, so this one is more of a press fit kind of thing. So you just pop it on. <coughs> um, so we wanted to change the lid, but also we want to try and figure out how to make an elbow. Uh, so we were just experimenting with how to do elbow joints. Um, I don't know why we did Miami colors for <laughs> so, gators. Yeah, gators. No, that's yeah. Miami. Florida and yeah. Miami. Stratasys, while their uh, quality is amazing, their cartridges and their like proprietary. Uh, use of those filaments can oh. be rather expensive. Oh so this was uh, developed by one of our team members on their home uh, home three D printer. Uh, so you know, thirty bucks for a cartridge of filament is much better than two hundred and sixty dollars <laughs> for a cartridge of filament. So that's why we get some of these strange colors in our uh, early prototypes. And there there are like interesting uh, uh, like pivots and joints that we also integrated into the. Um, so recently. We decided to bring an artist on the team, as, uh, as you guys were talking about. So he actually designed this entire sleeve for it, um, and then we took it to the UCF well, Visual Arts Department. Can I erase the smiley faces? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Because I keep looking at you guys going, man, that's going to look happy. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you got a little smiley head next to your head. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we, we didn't really like how boxy these were, um, and so we, we asked him to try to make it more sleek and more natural. Could you hold them again up against the board there, just so the shot has the, yeah, there we go. Um, right back, look at you. And then we also wanted to add some designs onto it, because it's for a little girl, she's about five or six, um, and she likes flowers. So we had him add a flower onto the design. Um, and uh, if you pull these strings back here, you can see the hand poses. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And so this would be actuated by, um, electronically by a, a high torque servo. And uh, the way that she's going to control it is we're going to hook electrodes up to her bicep. Then whenever she flexes her bicep, it'll read that inside of the arm and tell the hand to close or open. That one has fingerprints on this. Yes. <laughs> so the, the way that the fingertips <laughs> lay on the build platform does create some geometries that mimic fingerprints. Oh, dude. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, depending on the perspective, if we print a hundred of these fingers, they'll oh, all have same. identical fingerprints. <laughs> uh, unless you change the slicer, the slicing between each, because you can <coughs> every time you do a slice, there's a, there's a chance we're going to get a different pattern. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, so. yeah, right. So recycling the CMV, you'll get the, the identical fingerprint. Yeah. yeah. So we're actually giving this arm to her this weekend. Day after tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so that's awesome. Has she seen it yet? She has not She's yet not seen it. Wow. She knows about it. How old is she? She's six. Now, oh, now this is a prosthetic or just for? Uh, she, she'll use it. Yeah, yeah. she'll use it. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So we developed this one for Alex Pring. Um, we had an eight week design. Um, <laughs> oh, <wow>. Window. <laughs> window. Right. Yeah. Um, Tight. This was two weeks. This is yes. two weeks. <laughs> but you already had that one under your belt? So, right, yes. Okay, so that yes. made that one a yes. little Did you make it end up reusing some of the modeling that you did for the original? Or yeah, so the hand is almost hand the thing. same. Okay. Uh, it's just been modified slightly on the thumb. Have but, you guys, uh, uh, looked into, um, uh, there's a, a guy that figured out the polymer uh, chain of uh, monofilament 
if you twist it really, really tightly, you get these knots. Mm -hmm. If you apply a small amount of heat to it, it pulls. Yes, we did look into did it. Did you look into the trying mm -hmm. that? Yeah, um, it just wasn't strong enough. Oh, it's not. Mm -hmm. So those are those are S and P's, and while they're like really good for some of these plug-in uh, robotic things, mm -hmm. they also require an extraordinary extraordinary amount of electricity to generate that heat. Oh, the heat, heat is super high. inefficient, right? Right. So that is inefficiency. But um, if, you, if you create a, uh, maybe smaller ones that are like created uh, to be interlinking like a uh, like a mesh, right? Maybe you could use a, a smaller amount of heat. Yeah, maybe so, so. It, it's entirely possible. Yeah. Um, maybe in the next two weeks. Yeah. We'll, uh, <laughs> <That'd be awesome. laughs> I'll check it out. Um, so uh, if you see here, this one has a very large area inside the forearm to fit all the electronics in. Um, I don't know, we don't have a screwdriver, but we've severely reduced the size. <laughs> it is crammed in there. Um, so the electronics in this one, you see they take up this whole space. But this one probably is from probably about here, so about three quarters of the way up, all the way to about halfway in the servo. So we really crammed everything in there. And we've got a small uh, screwdriver. No. Sure some makers here. Here. In a maker space, there's got to be one somewhere. Mm -hmm. Have you, have you considered uh, really have you considered <laughs> some some kind of a sensor for the for the fingertips so that she can feel something? So or some we have. We don't really know how to do that. Second of all, how, how would you integrate that into her being able to feel? That would be one of the, of the biggest mm, problems. Uh, tap it to a nerve, and then she learns that, oh, that's that's a sense of touch, maybe? maybe? Yeah, yeah, so maybe, um, I don't know. Our, our main goal currently is to focus on children. And uh, while the military and DOD is doing a lot of like nerve rerouting uh, for traumatic injuries and things like that, uh, they're doing some really interesting stuff. But they require surgeries. And those prosthetics that you're actually able to like stimulate nerve endings that used to be routed to uh, fingertips or things like that, we're talking about millions of dollars at that point. Mm -hmm. right? They're still in the development phase. They, they, oh, yeah. The guy who made it. the Delta Maker just oh, carries that around. Yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> You're going to break it. Yeah. Of course, you got to have it. So, I mean, uh, once they start to scale up, right? once you, you start to have more arms, then you have diminishing costs, right? Mm -hmm. But, uh, um, I think somebody mentioned earlier about the tens of thousands of dollars that a normal prosthetic would cost. Yeah, and, and, uh, and by the way, what you guys do is why I am here tonight, and why yeah. I decided to get a printer now, not when they get to a hundred bucks. So yeah. I definitely want to talk to you. Anything I can do? I Absolutely. Don't have one yet. I'm selecting one, getting it next week, uh -huh. um, and I'm gonna. It's gonna be a steep learning curve, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of practice. If you guys need help getting stuff printed yeah. for mock-ups or models or promotions or whatever the heck um, I really want to get involved in that absolutely and I, Thank you so much. I, I don't know if you have anything to do with the enable it was just a name I heard and read about actually from enable okay. okay well we're, that was we're associated with that. a story on it but it was really <laughs> inspiring about the Iron Man uh -huh. Man for kids and yeah I, you know, I have a seven and a nine year old and you know they're very sensitive and and want to help the friends and, it, and my daughters had all kinds of cool ideas of that reminded me actually of Ahsoka's hand. Ahsoka. From Ahsoka is from Star Wars Clone Wars. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the voice actor is at Star Wars Weekends all the time. We've been, I mean, she basically okay. knows us when we're all approaching in the car. Oh, right that's now. so cool. So <laughs> we, we like chat with her all the time. So, um, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to see what uh, what it takes to actually get, you know, legitimate licensing and stuff from that, from what you see in the stores. Mm -hmm. Disney's not exactly picky on the who they give licensing the to, so it's not going to be that tough. Just recently done a licensing deal with Hasbro. Hasbro, I, I yeah. heard about that, but not with Disney. They're a little tough. Well, yeah, like I said, Disney, Disney does <laughs> pictures and <laughs> <laughs> and slapped on every product. Thing, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait yeah. 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 to get a licensing deal. And now since they're Marvel, Pixar, and the fact that we're going to get 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 the